right, everybody, thank you for joining me. Today's video is on the pry bars. We have Lynch All Access Pass version 1.8. We have OZ Machine Company. I don't even know what it's called. We have a regular bottle opener. We have a screwdriver. And we have a Leatherman. So let's dig in. First off, we're going to talk about packaging. These things have already been opened. No big deal. Pretty cool stuff. Just kidding. Lynch Northwest. Very nice packaging on this guy. You have a sleeve that has been screen printed. This is the ultra light version. Very nicely done, Casey Lynch. Very nicely done. Again, looks like another screen printed piece here with a safety seal sticker on that. I've already opened this up. I've already used this pry bar, really nice. So open the lid. You have foam on that, awesome. Again, you get a lanyard, uh, that's cool, paracord. You get a freebie sticker, always love the freebie stickers. You have a little handwritten note. Now, this part is printed, that's handwritten. Still, super, super nice gesture, love it. Really good customer service, really good marketing. Definitely gonna buy something from you again because this is like my fifth purchase. Just kidding, I didn't buy this, my brother did. He got it for me. So, the pry bar itself came in the plastic packaging. Again, nothing too frilly, but still, all together, a really, really nice package for your Lynch pry bar. So, OZ machine, cool, big sticker, made in the USA but nothing on the front as to who the brand is. You can hear that, shaky, shaky, shaky. So open it up, uh, similar style packaging to Casey Lynch, but uh, there's no foam on top. Not a super big deal, I don't really care, but you get a sticker, which I paid for, not a freebie. You get a card, ooh, ah, card, and you get the pry bar. So this is really all I want. So the rest of you jabronis who like to keep all this shit around, throw it away. On to the pry bars. So Lynch, All Access Pass, OZ Machine Company, regular thing, uh, screwdriver, and a Leatherman. Let's see what these junkers weigh. So you can see two at home. OZ Machine, 26.1 grams. All Access Pass, 21.7. Bottle opener, 70 grams, fatty. My screwdriver, 112.9, all right. And the Leatherman, 189.2, very hefty. So, all access pass, this guy, titanium lightweight, that is the lightweight version. There are holes cut in it so that it's high speed, low drag. This guy is 152 thou wide. OZ machine is 198.5. A little misleading. Their website said it was 150. Liars! Uh, not a big deal though, because when it comes down to it, being a little bit wider is nice when you're opening bottles because it's able to get on the caps a lot better across the ridges here. So uh, one of my big complaints, my big complaint with the Lynch Northwest is that it is not very thick. It's not very wide. And you typically need about two or three tries to open up a bottle cap. This you probably need about two tries, definitely, because you get it once and then you have to move over and get another time. Um, whereas this, because it's so wide and has so much leverage, you don't actually need more than one try. A uh, screwdriver, I mean, have you been to college? You can open a beer bottle with a screwdriver. And the Leatherman has a screwdriver on it and the rest of the crap that comes in it is whatever. This is 
who carries a Leatherman anymore. So, down to the screwdriver and the bottle opener and the Lynch and the OZ. Uh, this was initially a review on the Lynch and the OZ. These guys are made out of titanium. The Lynch is about 120 bucks. The OZ is $100. Both very nicely done, machined in the U.S., made out of titanium, bottle openers, pry bars, sit in your pocket. The cool thing that I like about the Lynch is that it has the Lynch pocket clip on it, so it sits really nice and flush in your pocket when you have that in there. Um, I have quite a few of his clips on my knives, and they work out really, really nicely, the deep carry pocket clips. So this falls in the same category as that. The OZ is a little weird because it sits in your pocket this way. And I, I thought that was going to be an issue, but it turns out when you're carrying a knife that's about the same thickness in your pocket, it doesn't make too big of a difference. If you weren't carrying a knife or a flashlight, uh, it might be a little funky, but uh, overall, not bad. The OZ has a more drastic angle on the pry. I don't know if you can see that here, but they went with a steeper angle on the pry bar itself. Um, I haven't really had too much experience with these prying actual things most of the time it's like hey i need to open up a toy or some kind of crap so you just get your pry bar out and, and boom toys open you got the batteries out and replace it's done uh, a lot better than using your knife because you will break off the tip of your knife if you try to do that so i had to spend 120 dollars to not break off the tip of my 200 hundred dollar knife just kidding i have a screwdriver so I really like both of these pry bars. There are some other pry bars out on the market that I'm looking to try. I just wanted to give you guys a good overview of the Lynch Northwest and the OZ machine. The OZ machine has this really nice texture on it that they are calling their golf putter or whatever texture. Really nice on the sides. The Lynch, I think, shines a little bit more with the top texture here and the ergonomics on the bottom. I really like both of these pieces. This is, the OZ is a lot sharper as far as the machining goes. The edges are a lot cleaner. Um, Casey really put a nice bevel on all these edges. So the thing just really fits nicely in your hand. If you've ever talked to 1911 guys, that's what they're all about. This seems more like an actual chunk of material. I'm not complaining, either way. Um, I think they're both really great. They both do their job nicely. I'm stoked to have both of them, and I'm looking to get some more pry bars. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have any kind of experience with either of them? Do you have another pry bar that you like? I am looking at the in without knocking because that thing is probably I think like six inches uh, OZ does say that they are 150 thou but it turns out they're 200 no big deal understand it happens on their website so in conclusion we have two really nice pry bars made in the USA both out of titanium both with their own features really awesome and you're probably asking yourself and me, well, which one do I buy? Listen, I'm not going to tell you which one to get, but I'm going to tell you which one to get. Just kidding.
greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't wanna be one of the nameless. I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to remember your story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah, don't wanna lie.